Hey guys, this is Vegas Romaniac, and this is my Asus A15 4800H Risen or Ryzen processor with the 1660 Ti, and I'm going to show you how good it is for productivity today and for uh, using it of editing videos. A lot of people have asked me this question, so um, here's where we're standing. First, we have it in silent mode, and I'm going to tell you that it doesn't make uh, that big of a difference. Yes, it's a little bit slower, but it's also a lot more quieter. Um, also, uh, it's easily still boosting to its uh, proper frequency. So if you see over here the processor, it's easily reaching the 4300 megahertz or 4.3 gigahertz as stated uh, in the uh, uh, specs for the laptop. Um, it is uh, using the memory right now to um, have the two programs loaded, which is Adobe Photoshop and Cyberlink Power DVD, which I have them both running in the same time. A lot of the times it just comes down to these two programs, uh, which one to use. This is the best, this is the easiest. So by far, I'm going to show you both today how they work on this laptop. Here is a sample that I have uh, that I've loaded a while back. Um, this is a video that I've posted on YouTube. This is a Cyberlink Power DVD 18, and this is the program that I uh, find the easiest to use. Uh, very easy to cut, very easy to cut and re um, remove pieces very easy to uh, split and add picture in picture, uh, an extremely easy uh, program to use, and it uh, has been very, very good for me. It doesn't move as fast as um, the uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop, but it's a lot easier uh, to use. If you want to use all kinds of uh, uh, effects on it, you can, easy to cut, put left and right, split them, crossfade, if you want to split them again and then use any kind of other effects on it, it has all kinds of um, goodies on it that is very, very easy to use. I've been using this program for, for quite a while and uh, um, never had any issues with it. Um, it's uh, quite fast at everything. It also has a profile analyzer. It will analyze the profile. It's going to tell you that uh, what resolution I'm running and what's the frame rate, what's the bit rate. So uh, very, very easy to use and it could use SVRT or it could use hardware encoding. Um, for rendering. Uh, when you start a render, uh, what's going to happen is that uh, you are going to notice that it does have a small, um, let's say, uh, flaw. Uh, it does not know how to use the G4 1660 Ti that is built into the uh, computer, but is using the AMD Radeon graphics or graphics which is built into the motherboard or in the processor. Um, uh, it does use the processor, uh, and as you can see, even at uh, full speed, um, it's um, still very, very uh, gentle on the processor and very, very gentle on the video card, so it can render a, a video very, very, very fast. Um, this program has been very, very good for, uh, to me, and um, I use it all the time just because it's so easy to use. Uh, it doesn't move in the menus as fast as you, you see. Um, uh, as Adobe, but it's definitely a good program. Now Adobe is still running in the background and we could use this program if you want to give it a try. So um, there's a couple of options that we have. First of all, we don't want to do the learning. We want to go into editing mode. And um, this is the same clip that I had before. Uh, right now it's thinking about something. Okay, there it is. So we put it in. Um, and this one is a lot harder to use. Now first, problem that you have is the way that, uh, first problem that I have with this program is the way that it is arranged. So I don't really like the, the layout. And even though you could move some things around, it's it's quite quirky to use on a, on a small laptop uh, screen. If you have multiple screens, you could drag this one into a different screen and it will work a lot better. Um, but with this uh, laptop screen, it's definitely limited as far as that goes. Now, um, another option, uh, another thing that I don't like is that everything is so crammed and all the um, um, edit uh, uh, stuff, it's it's hidden in all kinds of places. Like for example, here we have a razor that we could cut this uh, clip over here. Uh, we could cut, cut this clip over here. And then we have, we have to click the pointer again and you have to move the clip out. And to be able to make a picture in picture, you have to do them like this. And then uh, it's still limited as far as the cursor. The cursor is always in the wrong position, it feels like. It doesn't snap as easily as the other one. Uh, to be very honest with you, I've been paying very little attention to it because I don't really like it very much. I don't even know how to do picture in picture with it. It's somewhere in this deep menu, somewhere uh, it's uh, where where it's uh, where is the trick for it. But I really, really don't like it, and because of that, I've completely ignored it. I have it on my computer, but I just didn't even bother to um, 
download it. And what's interesting is that even the pro um, channels out there are using it on YouTube, but uh, they have video editing guys that all they do is this program all the time, and sometimes they use very, very little special effects with it. Uh, compared to Adobe, uh, compared to Cyberlink Power DVD, which has plenty of effects uh, in it. So you have all kinds of uh, uh, special um, uh, things that you could add to the screen. You have uh, special um, uh, effects that you could add, all kinds of like um, uh, pictures and other stuff like that that is very, very easy to add into a screen. And, and I just feel like this program is way superior for those people that actually care. Uh, way, way, way superior. It's a lot cheaper, a lot easier to use, a lot more friendly, and it's YouTube friendly. Um, you could actually do uh, a direct YouTube upload if you want to give them your credentials. So you have an option that you could actually um, directly upload to YouTube, which it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's over here in online, and then you could just directly upload to YouTube so you don't have to know how to upload or save your files or process your files or do all these things. So a very, very good software to use, a little bit slower. Uh, it moves a little bit slower than um, the Adobe, uh, but once you get used to it, you have a powerful processor like this one, it's not going to matter. So uh, for those people that ask me uh, what's going on with the quality uh, for the uh, screen, on the Asus laptop for an average guy and I'm just an average guy which is basically 90% of the people of this world it works just fine I don't see a problem with it it works really really well it uh, goes into games really really easy um, it's nice um, to, to look at the games uh, quality it's um, really really nice to play the games it it's sharp it has very very low reflection so i don't see myself when i work on it even if i'm lit up so the screen is is, is good yes it's only ips 45 or something the games run really really well on it and uh the uh, productivity it looks really really nice the calls are sharp enough for me to like not notice the difference between this one and my desktop model which also is not a very very fancy model but uh yeah this is working really really well um the video card is really really powerful it moves really, really nice into games, so I have uh, no problems as far as that goes. It's really nice and smooth, and I'm only recording at uh, uh, 30 frames per second, so just for those people that uh, care. Uh, with that being said, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think at the bottom of this video. I'm going to end the recording right now. Thanks for watching this video. Vegas Romaniac, out.